Hello. Hello. Okay, so here we are back on one of our favourite river foreshores and we're in the mood for finding treasure, aren't we? We almost definitely are. Um, the weather forecast is not great, so it no. may pour down on us any so minute. Keep, keep your fingers crossed for us. <laughs> um, but we yeah. thought we'd chance it. Let's go get those treasures. a perfume bottle here and it looks like oh my goodness oh no it's got a hole in it it's the shape of a crown wow that's so pretty oh I'm glad I came up here look how steep it is <laughs> oh there's a viral bottle quite a few bottles. Mum said that was a, um, a shampoo bottle. What else have we got up here? Something sticking out there. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at this cute little cup. What a shame. It had two little girls' faces on it. And one's missing. Oh. Oh, that's a shame. I might take it. And this looks like a perfume. It's still got its lid. Oh no. <laughs> Mom's trying to get through. <laughs> I'm, st I'm under these trees. I'm stuck and I can see a few things down here. What's this? Looks like a figurine. Oh, yes, it is. It is a figurine. Looks like something that would have hung on a wall. Is that Mary? I think that's the Virgin Mary. She's a bit broken, unfortunately. Okay, there's stuff in here, but I, I can't get to it. <laughs> Struggle, struggle. What's this? It can't be a whole bowl, surely. I can't. Oh no, it's not. Oh, a little bottle here. Is that a button? That's a, a little button. And it looks like a little little bottle here. Oh yes. Oh wow. Look at that. Oh. I love that. Yes. So basically this is what we do a lot of the time. Struggle. <laughs> this is about 20% of what we do. <laughs> and there's Alex struggling over there as I'm struggling over here. <laughs> oh, life's a struggle. Oh, oh, it's broken. There's a tile here. Wow, look at that. Oh, I like that. There is so much stuff down here. Just so much. It's quite overwhelming. But I did spot a little face looking at me from down here. Can you see her? Oh. Oh, there she is. She's got a little bonnet on. She's quite cute. I also found this other little head fragment, but it's just some hair and some eyebrows. <laughs> so we've got an aggressive goose. <laughs> oh, no. oh, we had we had geese when we were younger. We had geese when we were younger, and they were quite aggressive. And these two look quite aggressive as well. Are you coming to attack me? Please don't. 
I come in peace? I come in peace? See? I come in peace. Oh, I think they're all right. I think they're good. Pass up a teeny bottle. Look at this bottle. It's a perfect example of a snap top or a sheared top bottle. You can see how it's quite flat. It's not uneven and jagged like a burslip, but it's been sheared or snapped cleanly from the end of the blowpipe. So that's cool. It's a cool example some fancy legs and over here I saw a broken window looks like someone stepped on it recently there <laughs> and then next to it a little marble a little clay marble I think I'll leave that guy's trousers oh that's quite pretty that pottery as well There's loads of it, loads. I don't know where to focus my eyes. Oh, look at that beautiful glass. Found that bit here before. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that'll be great to do sponge wear on. It looks like a paint pan and it is <laughs> it's a double one I love paint pans and there's the obligatory lid but this one's broken so I'm going to leave it okay so I'm going to take this tile because mum and I have decided to collect them to tile our front porch so we're going to collect as many whole tiles as we can, as we can carry, because we know there are loads lying around here. There's probably some up there as well. Just found this, this beautiful burslip bottle. It's really, really wonky and it's full. It's absolutely full of little bubbles. Isn't that gorgeous? Look how wonky it is. I just found this amazing piece of, I think it's spatter glass. I think it's a bit of spatter glass and I think they were made in Czechoslovakia. It's Czech glass anyway. But this will make absolutely amazing beads. Just spot a little red thing down there and I think it might be a little button. A teeny tiny little button. Oh wow it is. It's minuscule. It's the tiniest little glass button ever. How cute. Alex has just found <laughs> face. That is creepy. Uh, that is so creepy. That is horrible. Isn't that disturbing? <laughs> is it Mr. Pickwick or something? He's got like his mouth open and it's just creepy. That's just creepy. Yeah, I don't like that, but I do. I found some other things. We found a bit of this before. What is it? Oh, yes. What is that? Have we found that before? One of these yeah, before, it's we? like it, it goes on something. Like, what is it? It hooks onto something. I'd love to know what that is. Because yeah, I have no like idea. Like a vase or something? It's milk glass. We also found another tile for our collection. Yay. Yay. Tile. Got 
something on the back. Can't quite read it. But that's the second one that I found. So I might keep those. And there's a triangular one. I wish I wasn't so far from the car. And a square one. <laughs> oh dear me. And there's a little square one here. I think I've seen this one already, it's broken. I found a tiny one as well. Alex has found a little square one as well. Oh, it's a shame that one's broken on the end. Yeah. It's an old iron. <laughs> That's why they're called irons, because they were literally just a block of iron that was put on the stove to heat up. So I'm glad we don't have to, to do that anymore. I don't know what this is, but it, it's made of slate. It's all scratched on the top. And it's got like slate legs. It's like a mini slate table. If only I could carry that back to the car, I would. Oh, I found that man. What's this I spy? Can you see it? It's quite hard to see actually, it's sort of camouflaged. But I think it's a bead. And it is a little bead. I found something really cool down here. Look. Can you see it? It's oh. a doll. It's a doll's body. Oh wow. It's a body with a head. It's got its little brain. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's got oh, a crack on no. the... <laughs> it's got its a brains crack. come out. Oh, that. look at that. It has, um, it has Japan, I think, on it. Oh. Japan written on the back. That's oh, so cute. It's that's missing its little arms and legs. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Okay, so just a few, <laughs> just a few meters from when I found my doll, look what mom's found. <laughs> look at this. Oh, look, look, look. Oh my goodness. It's just got arms missing. That's that is all. so cool. We've, well, we've got some arms that we could attach to her. That's so cool. It's amazing. It was just lying there on the it's surface. Just... Wow, that is an amazing find. <laughs> That's so cool. Let's have a look, have a look at him. Wow, it's really detailed. <laughs> Plastic, a few plastic things. Got a little plastic toy. We got a little plastic birdie. We got a miniature Yorkshire Reddish bottle, screw cap, and some beautiful orange glass that works really well for beads. So I'll be taking that. Oh my goodness, what's that? Is it a bead? Look, 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 look. Oh. <laughs> I think it was, it was a bead, but it is a little bit knackered. Just a tiny, tiny bit knackered. <laughs> What's that there? That looks unusual. Oh, I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is a pig's jaw. And you can tell because 
this part is really broad and the angle, the tusk would have been sticking out there so yeah, it's a pig's jaw probably someone's dinner or broth okay, just lying here is the most gorgeous little bottle I must have rolled down the bank look at that it's got some sort of crystals inside of it but the bottom's so thick the base and it's a gorgeous colour and it's a burst lip I love it we've turned into mountain goats we never seem to be on anywhere that's uh... stout stout <laughs> <laughs> we're very stout yes okay so I found several really cool things here I'm excited about this guy can you see him it's a marble it's like a little tiny one oh it's a little um I think you call them peewee marbles is that what you call them I can't remember what you call the little marbles they have a name but that one is the most beautiful amber wow that's beautiful I see the edge of a vulcanite sticking out here I've just spotted that actually <laughs> so I've got a marble a vulcanite I saw this little bottle which I thought was really cute but the coolest bottle for today so far is this and it says Mason's wine so I say wine essence Nottingham how cool is that I absolutely love that bottle that's so cool because the color it's the most beautiful blue yeah it does Mason's wine essence Nottingham love it found another few interesting pieces this looks like a little man sitting down and that is a button and I'm taking it just in case it has something on it but I found another <laughs> another wee tile I'll put that in the bag the bag is very heavy now I think I see a tiny little bead you see it there looks like a little tiny blue bead love beads as you know oh there we go tiny blue bead ah oh, yes it's not really mudlarking without one of these <laughs> very necessary it's a cod mo oh my goodness and I just found another marble here actually it's another tiny little like I think they're called peewee might have got that completely wrong but there we go a cod marble and a plain marble just found a little bead down here that may be a uranium glass bead because it's very like glowy <laughs> and a little bottle I know but I can't help it empty the water out first it's a lid Oh, that's lovely, a willow pattern lid. How cute is that? Oh, I'm keeping that. This, what's this? I think it's, I think it's an arm, but the hand's missing. Oh. Oh yeah, it's a handless arm. Oh, that's a shame. I spy another blue and white knob. Is it on a whole lid? Oh no, it's broken. But that would have been beautiful. Oh, what a shame. But down here is a doll's lid. <laughs> I think it's a doll's lid, yep. Oh, you can't seat. go home without one. <laughs> Not another one. It's a lovely example here of a sheer top. 
So I'm going to take it. And here we've got a good old lung tonic. And this will be Albridge Hull. It says Hull, probably Albridge on the other side. There we go. Oh, and we've got a whole jar. A whole marmalade, so we'll probably take that with us as well. Okay, let's clean it out. And here's another jar. Which looks fairly whole. And here's a little bottle. Pipe bowl. That's a very chunky one. It is a bead. Holes in it. A very crude bead. Cool. Oh, look. One of my favourite things. It's a little bottle. Alex spotted it. Pick it up. Yay. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, Isn't it pretty? These funny little bottles. It obviously had a label on there, didn't it? Yeah. Now, for Christmas. It's the bottom of a cut glass bottle here. But how pretty is that? And that might make an amazing Christmas decoration. So we're going to keep it. It's a lid. Yay. Same time. Alex and I just saw this at exactly the same time. <laughs> and it's a little oh, head. Look, it's got eyes. Oh. Look at that. I was just showing Alex. I found a pill <laughs> that's oh, like I'm in the light. Alex I'm is in, in the, the light. light. Oh, I found a struggle buffer as well. I just found that. Alex has just found that. <laughs> but oh, look. <laughs> yeah, a pill that survived somehow. A tablet of some sort. I'll take it. I don't want it going into the river, whatever it is. Is this another lid? It is, but it's only half a one. I'm not oh, taking it. Take it anyway. Go on. No, I'm not taking it. That is not the other side of that lid, is it? No. It can't be. No. no. We're going to take it because it was only some. <gasps> yes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. It fits. Oh, what? That it, what are the chances? It was all the way up there. Oh, what on earth? That's ridiculous. That's so I've got cool. to take it now. <laughs> just glue it back together. Uh, You're a lid magnet, you are. Alex says my name is now Lydia. Lydia. <laughs> <laughs> So the table is quite packed with stuff this week. Yeah. We had a really great time. It was a really fun lark this week because we found loads of treasures for our collection. Yeah. 
Okay, so we'll start with the pottery bits. These are for jewellery and for um, crafting. So we're thinking of selling some of these figurine pieces in our shop. And then I found this, um, which is absolutely horrifying. I think it's Mr Pickwick. It's hideous. It is horrible. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's that. Absolutely so creepy. I wonder if it was an egg cup. It's quite big though. Yeah, I'm not sure what it was. Some kind of little cup. Um, a little pottery that says stout. I think this is part of an ashtray. Yeah, it's probably be a stout or Ooh, something. And then mum found this beautiful lid. Isn't that gorgeous? Must have been off a teapot. Yeah. As, as you can see in the videos, there's just so many teapots down there, but this one's beautiful. Yeah. Willow pattern teapot lid. Gorgeous. Um, we've got three stoneware jars that we can decorate, like this one, like our crazy mudlarking jar. Yeah, it's like daddy, mummy and baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a few stamps on here. This one says FM, yeah. I think we've seen that before, that stamp. Um, and this one is a Hartley's, which is quite a common brand of marmalade. You can see it's got the little lighthouse on there. And here we have a little collection of dolls' pot lids, um, which I couldn't come home without, could I? Um, <laughs> this one here is quite amazing because I found the larger half of this. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to bring it, it's broken. And then Alex found the other bit. And... and uh, We've yeah. mended it. <laughs> yeah, they are glued together as one. Yeah. So mum always seems to be the one that finds the little toy lids for some reason. This time we've got three. And we've also found a lovely little double paint pan. Yeah, that's lovely. Bisque. We always love to find paint pans. This porcelain is lovely. Yeah. Got a little collection of those as well. And this is a mystery object. It's some sort of receptacle. Yeah. It's made of milk glass. And we found one before. We found half a one identical to this. Um, it obviously sort of slots onto something. Yeah, hooks in, doesn't it? Yeah. But we have no idea. So please, if you do know, let us know below. Because, yeah, it's strange. It's a strange thing. Yeah, it is. We've got some lovely glass pieces here. Oh, yeah. This is the base of a cut glass vase or glass or something, but I thought it would make a beautiful Christmas decoration. Yeah, we can cut that out and put a bezel around it, and it looks like a snowflake, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Look at the pattern it makes on the table. Isn't that pretty? But yeah, we've got a lovely collection of glass here, um, mostly spatter glass. Yeah. This one here... That one, that one, and this amazing base, this vase base, are all Czech spatter glass pieces. And that's blue. That's um, Yeah, look, if you hold it up to the light, blue. you can see that it's blue. And it's got all these beautiful colours on it. So these are going to make these, all of these pieces. This one is um, sort of uh, etched glass, and this is moulded. Yeah, well, these are for um, stained glass, those flat ones. Okay, and then we've got this cup, which unfortunately has this one piece missing. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it would have had two little girls on it, and it says foreign on the bot on the bottom, so probably made in Germany or Japan. They look German. I don't know. The yeah, it could be trans. It's transfer where. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is, the reason we took this is to cut this out. Yeah. And maybe make a pendant or a decoration from her. Okay, so we've got a pipe bowl. Um, this is quite worn. It's like it's been tumbling around in the river for a yeah. little while. It's a very chunky one, isn't Big, it? Big chunky one. And a pipe stem for making things with. And we got a few Bakelite things. So we've got a Bakelite lid. And we've got this really big Bakelite button, which is lovely. Must have been off a big coat or a cape or something. Yeah. Okay, and now our little dish of treasures. And we have clay balls or marbles. This one's more likely to be a marble. And we have a cod marble. It's always a cod marble. And Alex found these two. Yes, these two beautiful. Whoops. <laughs> it's running away. These two beautiful tiny little marbles. I can't I love remember the what amble. they're called. I love this amber. Yeah, beautiful swirly amber and a little cat's eye marble. They're yeah. just so Beautiful. I'll go in our little marble collection. And then in the dish left over, we've got some beads. We've got two ceramic beads. We've got two glass beads, including this little, like, melon-shaped bead. 
I'm not sure if this isn't a bead. Yeah. Flat, flat bead. It's funny, isn't it? Funny disc yeah. shape. They do come in all I sorts of shapes and sizes. Especially when you come into the 20th century, they get a bit funky, don't they? Yeah. Um, we've got a bit of a doll's arm and some buttons and another lid. Oh, and a little red glass button as well. Okay, and here is our amazing bottle collection from yeah. this lark. We got so many this time. We got. We? we always get lots. We always get lots because we're absolute suckers for little bottles because yeah. they're so pretty. Okay, so this is probably one of my favourites here. Oh, mine as well. That is amazing. Just look at the bubbles in it. Bubble source Rex. And it's not just bubbly, it's wonky as well, sort of leaning to one side. That's bubbleless Maximus, that. Yeah, it is. I absolutely love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love wonky, bubbly bottles. Um, and then the rest are just... Oh, this is a snap top bottle. Um, there's cork top bottles and burst lip bottles, you know, all the usual... Um, and then we've got teeny tiny bottles here, and I love this one as well. Oh, yeah, I love that one too, because the base is so thick. And that's bubbly too, and it's a beautiful colour. It is. They've obviously blown too much glass into the little mould. It's made this big, thick, blobby bit at the bottom. Yeah, we've got a little... Um, this is a little poison bottle, and we think these are little perfumes. Yeah. Little penny perfume bottles. And um, we... Oh... Oh yeah, we've got a vial. We always get vials. We have no idea how these survive because they're so thin. Um, we've got two of them. And then our more interesting bottles over here. This is a lung tonic and we found these before and we'll put a link to the video that we found one of these in because we've done a little story about Albridge's lung tonic. So you can look that up. And this one here is a beautiful colour. This is gorgeous. It's hard to see the writing on there, but it is Mason's Wine Essence. And this was made by Newball and Mason in Nottingham. The company was founded by Thomas Ayres Newball and Thomas Mason in the, in the 1870s. And Newball opened a chemist shop in Nottingham in about 1859 and later took on the 15 year old Mason as his apprentice. And Thomas Mason went on to own his own shop and there he invented extract of herbs and that was an essence used to make botanic beer. The two then went into partnership and the non-alcoholic botanic beer became so popular Mason was able to open a factory for the production of his extract of herbs. Another apprentice, Benjamin Deville, joined the company and also went on to become a partner. By 1890, the company had moved on to a larger factory, naming it Mayville Works, a combination of the names Mason and Deville. It's at this time that they started to produce coffee and fruit essences and flavourings, including this wine essence. Wonderful. And I, it's a beautiful bottle that will go nicely in our collection. Yeah, I love it. Okay, and lastly, we've got a find we thought we'd leave to you to research. And it's this beautiful crown bottle. Oh, it's had, so pretty. It's had a little metal top there that's gone a bit uh, corroded. <laughs> um, unfortunately, it's, it does have a hole in the end, yeah. but it's not a huge one. And it was just too lovely to leave behind. It's beautiful, isn't it? So we thought it would be fun to ask you guys to do the research on this bottle for us. So we know it's a little perfume bottle just by the size and the shape of it, but we have no idea who made it or where it was made, so it or would what be... what age it could be. Yeah, exactly. So it would be wonderful if you could let us know, do your own research and put it in the comments below for everyone else to see. Yeah. And last but not least, our favourite finds of the day... <laughs> These oh, creepy dolls. dolls. We've got a figurine head um, and these strange um, bisque heads that are just eyebrows and a bit of an eye. And then we've got a, another doll's head here. And we think this doll's head would have been off a body pretty much identical to yeah, this one yeah. here. Because it's exactly the same style and shape and size. But these two are just absolutely wonderful. One is a baby with a face only a mother could love, really. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And the other is a whole body and head with just the arms missing. And they haven't broken off. They would have been separate arms attached by a wire. So we might actually have some arms or find some in the future that might fit this doll. Yeah, that would be wonderful. Yeah, we can fix it. It's not quite a frozen Charlotte because it has moving parts. Yeah. And I think frozen Charlottes are usually solid dolls. Yeah. So everything is is solid, nothing's articulated. So it's not quite a frozen Charlotte. I think it is German made though. But this one here is made in Japan. Because it says quite clearly on the back, made in Japan. Yeah, so it is broken, unfortunately. Um, I think this is a meant to be here. This is a fault in the mould, this little bit down there. But it has... It's a bit of a head injury. Yeah, just mm. a little bit. Um, so I am going to mend this up and, um, yeah, make it whole again. And you never know, in the future we might find some arms and legs to fit him. Okay, so we're not quite done yet because we've got a really quirky experiment planned. Yeah, and uh, we hope this turns out, and if it does, it should be really funky. Yeah, it should be really cool. Um, but it's to do with what you're looking at right now, our bottles and some schwethers, some shrew feathers. So it was a bit of a strange combination, bottles and shrew feathers, but all will become clear very soon. Okay, so we're going to make some cyanotype prints with our bottles and we're going to use this paper here. Um, it has to be kept in an envelope like this because it's light sensitive and um, we don't want to expose it to the sun right now. So Mum's going to put down a piece of cyanotype paper on this board in the shade, place the bottles on and then move it into the sun to make the exposure. You can see the paper slowly starting to turn a blue colour and we're just going to leave it for a few minutes. Okay, so they've been in the sun for a little while, now we're going to rinse the paper really quickly and then see them cut. Oh wow! Oh wow. my goodness! <laughs> that is so cool! That's amazing, look at that one! Oh my goodness, that is crazy. That is so cool, look. Look at all the details, look, you can see the crown. I didn't realize so many details was gonna come out. That's amazing. That's so cool. Let's do some more. already. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. Look at the details in the bottles. That's amazing. Ghostly feathers. That's, That's so cool. Amazing, that one. Look at it. It's like a wow. photograph. It's like, I can't tell if it's a print or a photograph, but it's amazing. I suppose that's what a photograph is, really.
Oh wow, look at the poison! They look like green bottles. That's so cool! And they're not to be taken, you can see it how it says not to be taken. That's so cool. Eno's cough cure. just appears. It's like magic. <laughs> right, I have to go and wash these now. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. Oh, the glass with the words on has come out really well. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? And it looks like the glass is coloured, but it's not. I mean, it is, but it's not. <laughs> it's quite interesting, really. Yeah. shards work better upside down with the pattern facing downwards. Oh. Ah, look at this! Oh my oh, goodness! Wow. That's so pretty. Yeah, they definitely work better facing downwards. Are those ones down and those ones not? No, that's that's etched. Oh, okay. That's etched glass, but these I put them all facing down this time. How cool is that? It's amazing. It's magic. It is! It's magical! That's weird. Oh. <laughs> That's strange. Looks like it looks like frog, frog spawn. And then the leaf and the feather. Oh yeah, like the rimply bit. Look. Wow. Mm -hmm. There's bottle stops. I didn't think you would be able to see. Yeah. Oh look, you can see. Whole sauce. <laughs> <laughs> They're very ghostly, those ones. They are. They're quite cool, I like it. Frog spawn. Oh, I quite I like that. It's weird. 
<laughs> and here they are, our prints that we've made. Yay! Using our finds, and they've come out really amazingly we have, well. We have been so surprised at how these have turned out. And, and it's, it's been so much fun, hasn't yes, it? Yes, it has been a lot of fun. Uh, we didn't expect it to come out so well, so we're just so happy. And so this process is known as cyanotype, and it's a printing process that produces a cyan blue print. The process was discovered by the English scientist and astronomer John Herschel, who developed the process for copying documents and plans, hence blueprint. But it was English botanist and photographer Anna Atkins who first used it in the 19th century as an art form, illustrating her book with ferns and seaweed from her collection, and she is thought to be the first person to illustrate a book with the photographic image. That's incredible. And I really recommend you looking up um, Anna Atkins and her amazing prints because they are absolutely beautiful and they're, yeah. worth, they're worth doing a Google search and looking at. So, all that's left to say now is a massive thank you to everyone once again for contributing in any way at all to our channel. And um, we're going to leave you now with some photographs of our prints. Well, photographs of our photographs. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> yeah, because it is a photographic process. So, um, until next Sunday. Bye! Bye.